G'day! In today's video, I've got a Lenovo ThinkPad T480. It has got a failed mainboard, and I want to get it open to take out the hard drive to put it into an enclosure. So these are the steps that I'm going to do to be able to do that. Right now, we need a Phillips head screwdriver, so I'm going to put your screws, a couple of pry tools, and your enclosure. While inside, I will also cover RAM, potential RAM upgrades for this model, and we'll see what else can be changed. So to begin with, we need to take out the battery, which involves step one, slide this out. Step two, slide that out. Push back. One battery. One very thin battery. So it does surprise me how full, small this battery is compared to most, but anyway, put that aside for now. And let's get into the Phillips head screws. So it looks like these may stay in there as part of their design. So as I'm unscrewing them, they're not really lifting out. That seems to be normal on this machine. Same up the back here. I believe the T480s might be a bit of a business style of machine, just going by how thin and light that this particular one is. With that there. What I want to do is just grab in a small gap here. And I'll just go around like that. So I'll be able to use something like a bank card to potentially do this. Do have to be a bit careful with it. It is rather delicate plastic, at least that's what it feels like to me. If you're ready for too hard, you just probably didn't snap it. There we are, seem to be holding on down here. This one seems to be a tab holding it. There we go, and we're in. So looking at it from here, Turns out, up here is a supplementary battery. With an internal battery down here as well. So there's one neat way to actually do it, is split batteries. Granted, I'm gonna try out first to see if my non-charging issue may have been that this internal battery had drama. While we're here, I see one stick of RAM, and I see an empty stick of RAM. So to begin with, I'm gonna disconnect this battery, and then I'm gonna try a charger back on here to see if it may make any difference. To disconnect the battery, I should be able to just walk this, pushing up and down, up and down, and pulling it back. Just kind of walking it out of there, like so. So now with that disconnected, I'm gonna connect up the original charger and see if it'll power on. So I've just got a Dell Type-C charger as we can see here, we have an indication light. So I'm gonna plug in power here, and it has been turning this light off straight away, shorting out the power supply. And we look to be still doing that. So I'd say there's something a bit more serious going on here. But with that disconnected, I will cover how to upgrade to a RAM before I take out the hard drive. So to upgrade the RAM is very straightforward. We have these two tabs on the left and the right these metal silver bits, they go out to the side and it should stand up, the RAM should flick up like that. If it's flicked up like that, you should be able to grab it out and there's a little notch here. You've got to line that notch with the set with the gap on here. So looking at it, we have a single 8 gig stick of PC2400. We line that up slide it in the gap between the pins. You should be able to freely move it just up and down when you're happy with it. Push down, should click into position and most of the pins should be covered down the bottom here. So you shouldn't really see too much gold. That'll be the same scenario over here. And once you're done, reconnect your battery up, turn it on, you don't have to do anything special from there. If I go over here, we look to be a NVMe SSD. And I'm actually struggling to see how this is meant to come out. I'll just pull it. 
disconnect this M.2 cable here. The latch folds up and pulls towards yourself. Then lift this up. There we go. Flip it over. And we have an MSATA drive here. This looks to also unscrew. You may have a 2.5 inch drive there. In this particular instance, this is going to be no good for this particular job. I will require a different adapter. This can also be used to upgrade your current NVMe drive. You will have to reinstall Windows or clone it prior. But this is purely to get data, so I'm taking that out of there. Which is an Intel, where have we got here? Intel, model number stuck over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Grab an enclosure for that one and see how we go. So in the end I decided I need to use one of these instead, which fits it. And from there, that can be read on a computer. So the customer will be able to retain their information and still not have any dramas that way. And this I'm actually not too sure how I got this out to begin with. Anyway, I'm gonna put that aside for now. And that's for me to figure out. And Let's say once you have put your machine back together, put your new NVMe drive in there, just slots in one way. There's a little notch here like your RAM. And we'll have one screw at the top. Here. One over here. Or that. Here and here on this little brace. Not sure really what it's for but whatever it's there we'll put it back screw that in flip this over push it down or angle it first make sure you don't crimp your cable and this kind of lines up but i did crimp my cable just slightly there Yeah. Line this up under here, which I've made it slightly more challenging as it did get slightly bent. It should straighten itself out when I push it into the hole. And I line up here, there, there, we're in, and this latch goes over. And after that, I'll connect up the battery once more. There. Next up, I'll put the base back on. Click, 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 click. Should just basically click and crunch back into the position. After that, use your Phillip head screwdriver or star screwdriver, depending on how you want to call it. Tighten up those screws again. Hopefully from there you can continue using your machine. That one there is the ThinkPad T480. Catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.